Well, the first thing that comes to my mind um, is my father, who um, is a relatively quiet man from India. And he's very, you know, he's taught me a lot about the art of listening to other people and, and accepting. So I think that so much of listening is about removing the judging while you are listening. You know, just really just being receptive to what someone is saying without saying, oh, well, they're wrong, and I could tell them why they're wrong. The other thing I think of is a similar lesson I learned when I worked with tribes. And I remember this so clearly. I worked, I would teach and teach and teach around the country, and whenever I taught um, Anglos, Westerns, you know, in classes, it was mostly Anglos, you'd, you'd have this kind of constant rapid fire conversation, you know, and it, it would just be very rapid. One person would finish and that person would jump in and ta -ta -ta -ta. And then all of a sudden I'd be put in on a tri tribal grounds in a reservation and I would pose a question and it'd be silent. I would sit here and then someone would talk and then it'd be silent <laughs> and then someone might say something. So I asked them about that and they said, oh, we're just thinking. We're thinking about what you said after you said it, not while you're saying it. We're just, you know, we're thinking about what our response will be now. I thought oh, that's remarkable. We Westerners, especially Americans, have no problems with creativity, you know, but receptivity, which listening, and I connect that to that's what feminism is really about. It's not about equal pay and the glass ceiling. Uh, it's about the capacity to let in, to receive. Um, and so that's what I've been teaching. I don't teach creativity. My teacher, M.C. Richards, the very first day I was in her class, she turned to me and she said, Paulus, it's not a matter of having taste. It's having the capacity to taste what's present, to behold. And that was uh, you know, one of those moments when your life changes, because I have two brothers who are famous artists, and they always said, you'll never be an artist. You have no taste. And here was this woman saying, taste is not good or bad. or just Taste is experiencing, is listening, is receiving, is, is the feminine. You know, and, um, so that's, that's what I think that I've been trying to teach all these years.